friends. Today we are hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando and I am so excited the holiday season is upon us. Universal invited me out so I can make a video and show you guys all of the amazing festivities that they're doing this year. We've got of course the Grinch who I am so excited to meet and then the holiday parade featuring Macy's and I'm just so excited. This is one of my favorite things to do during the holiday season. So let's eat some food, ride some rides, and have a merry Universal Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Universal does such a great job for the holiday season and it goes on from November 17th to December 31st and the best part of all of it is it's included in your regular ticket admission so you don't need to buy like a special ticket or go to a, a private event to actually enjoy the holiday seasons at Universal Studios. The plan for today is to hang around the park a little bit and then we're gonna go to a special reception where we're gonna get to try some of the holiday food that they're serving this year at Universal Studios Orlando. We're gonna get to meet the Grinch, Earl the Squirrel, and then we're gonna go watch the Grinchmas uh, Who Holiday Spectacular. And uh, like I mentioned, that one's my favorite and I'm gonna try to sit next to Max because I wanna see him. Like, he's there, I wanna see him. And then we're gonna watch the holiday parade and end the night over in Hogsmeade with some butter beer and the projection show on the castle so it's gonna be a nice one I, I, I'm excited to bring you guys and show you everything walking around Universal Studios with the Christmas music all of the decorations look at the Christmas tree over there it's starting to rain a little bit but it's not gonna bother me I feel like Universal Studios Christmas sits with me a little bit more because it's kind of what I pictured uh, Christmas being like as a child. Watching the Macy's Parade, you know, with my family and seeing the gigantic balloon floats. They're here. Like, we're going to see those, like, th those floats, like those big gigantic balloons. The Universal Tribute Store is already open, so we might as well head on in and see what they got going on in there. I always love going to the Tribute Store because they always put so much detail into it. Wow, I think this is my favorite area of the Tribute Store. Look at it in here. The music, the fireplace, the Christmas tree. I love how they create an experience just to shop, you know? Makes you want to stay in here and buy more things. Oh my lord! Look at this. Danger. Closet is full. Much like everyone's closet when it comes to Christmas decorations. Look at... Oh! <laughs> that is... Uh, I get excited over E.T. I'm a big E.T. fan here. And I'm a big Earl the Squirrel fan too. Honestly, look at how cool all of these photos are from Christmas's past here at Universal Studios. Look at down here. Look at that. Or over here with Betty Boop. You got Woody Woodpecker over there. That's really cool. I'm a big multicolor lights fan. Like, I love all the different colors and I like the old decorations, old school decorations like 80s, 90s, Santa Claus, reindeer, stuff like that. Just, it gets me so like happy and in the mood for Christmas. I love all of the decorations in this tribute store. This is by far probably one of my favorite like tribute stores just because of the old school decorations look at this elf look at that candle right there it's frightening but also merry <laughs> all of it is one of my favorite memories is actually watching the Grinchmas Who Holiday Spectacular show with my mom and sister and them coming down here and being here for the Orlando Informer meetup which is actually happening tonight too and I will be here for that as well. I'll be here all weekend for the Orlando Informer meetup and I'll put a link in the description for that if you ever want to come to the parks and ride the rides without having to wait in line and basically have all the food included in your ticket price then you're gonna want to check out that event and I have some videos too I'll put all that in the description but one of my favorite moments is actually just spending time with my mom and sister here at Universal during the holiday season we are all checked in and it's time to head on in for our special little reception and it's cool because we're actually going into the old Nickelodeon Studios and this is also where the uh, Grinchmas uh, show actually takes place and it's actually like inside the building right here so I love it. 
I always say this, but I feel like the Grinch meet and greet is the best meet and greet of all time. Like, if there's any character in the world I would want to meet, like, it would be the Grinch because he's just so awesome. And because it's such a popular thing, they were testing out a virtual queue for a while there. And this year, they decided to just get rid of the virtual queue and have a designated standby line. And uh, that way, everybody gets to meet the Grinch. The sad part is that standby line is 100 in 80 minutes today so we're gonna monitor and see how it is throughout the day but we're definitely gonna meet the big green guy himself we are actually in the room right next to the Grinchmas theater so we're gonna hang out in here and eat some of the food and even uh, meet Earl the Squirrel who is one of my favorite uh, characters at Universal Studios in fact I feel like he's the icon of the holidays here at Universal Studios and we have all of the food that we can try look we even have all the snacks over here we've got the peppermint cakes they've got a uh, butter pecan yule log right there a peppermint mocha cake right there of course the Grinch cookie I love the Grinch cookies those are my favorite and then the uh, vegan cookie butter snowflake so might as well grab some snacks and uh, wait for the show to start I like that we're right next to the Grinchmas who, uh, you know, it's also who holiday, who holiday. I always have a hard time saying it because I want to say who holiday, but I think it's who holiday, who holiday, who holiday. <laughs> <laughs> that's next door so we're gonna have our snacks here we're gonna eat some food like the cookies and then uh, meet Earl the squirrel who Earl the squirrel is one of my favorite characters here at Universal because he was a squirrel that went into the Christmas tree and maybe might have nibbled on something he shouldn't have and uh, he became kind of an icon and uh, we get to actually meet him here with the Grinch Speaking of my favorite squirrel, here he is, Earl. How are you? You having a good day? You excited for the uh, holiday season? Oh, I love the shirt. I love acorns. Yes! <laughs> I am so glad that we got to meet Earl the Squirrel. Like I said, I think he's so cool and I love his shirt. And you can actually meet him. He's out and about in the park too. Uh, he has, I think, somewhere a designated photo spot. Uh, and that's kind of new. I think it started last year. And like I said, he's just getting so popular. He's on merchandise. You saw him in the tribute store. Good for him. Good for Earl. Oh, wow. Look at these treats. They look amazing. I am so excited to dive in, especially with the Grinch cookie. This is one of my favorites because you can see his very tiny little heart right there. But he's got one. And uh, also the cake looks pretty good. Honestly, I feel like every year the desserts get better and better. Of course, I have to actually wear the Grinch hat while I'm eating the Grinch cookie. And look at it, it's so soft. It's so very, like, sugary. I love it. Look at it. It just, like, falls apart. It's like a pillow. Oh, look at it. I'm going to eat the heart. A little cookie part first. Oh, so good. The Grinch cookie was delicious. Like always, I love that cookie. But now I want to get into the peppermint mocha cake thing here. Oh, this isn't a cake cake. Well, it's kind of like a cake. It started raining a little bit outside, so I had to come back inside now. But uh, we gotta finish up and eat because the Grinch is gonna be coming soon. And then we're gonna head on in and watch the show. And uh, usually things like this go by so fast, so I'm sorry if it's not all together. And also, I'm still holding the fork with the cake on it, so cheers. This is actually so good. Very peppermintly. Very peppermintly? Peppermintly? I think that's the word. <laughs> but anywho, I think we'll uh, now try the pecan yule log. Get a little bit of that, a little bit of that. That's the way. You know, I don't think I've ever had a pecan uh, yule tide uh, roll before, so here we go. Wow, that is so good. I love it. Actually, out of everything, that was my favorite. And I got even a little bit of the peppermint in there. So it's like a peppermint pecan. <laughs> peppermint pecan nutmeg. Nutmeg? I don't even know where I'm going with this. 
The food has been pretty amazing so far. And a lot of these uh, desserts you can actually find throughout the park. Not in the Tribute store. Like you can get the Grinchmas cookie over in uh, Dr. Seuss. Well, Seuss Landing. And a couple of the other spots here. The bakeries on Universal side. Uh, like I said, I think the, the, the U-Tide uh, log. That was probably my favorite. Uh, and now I think it's time we head on in to Grinchmas. Laura Curly Brian Wallace, you little daddy wall box you. I'm a big kid, I don't need to match. Oh, this is the greatest day of my life. Let me meet the media, so to speak. <laughs> so good to see everyone, and I say that sarcastically and not from my heart whatsoever. How you doing, sweetie pie? Oh, thanks! Look at him! I can see it. Alright, next on up for me, please. Nice! Scratch me? Look at you with your vintage universal get up and your skin grinch hat. That's called poaching, my friend. I know, but I'm just here for Max, and I figured if I uh, kind of resembled uh, the mean you know you. Use your words lightly, Mr. Morrow. Oh! I see you got my request for a hat change last year. Yep. You prevailed, my friend. I came like prepared. I heard you come in here shooting me with a cannon. Yeah! <laughs> Look at Max! Ooh. Uh, my friend. Yes, please! Oh, yes! Thank you, Kai Pet Max! You can pet Max as long as you look at me straight in the eye. <laughs> I love you, Max. I love you too, Grinch. <laughs> My day has been made. Number one, I was allowed to pet Max, which I didn't even think that was gonna be possible. And number two, the Grinch remembered me and he noticed that I came with a different hat because he said, next time you better step up your hat game and bring a different hat. And I did, I did, did you see that? That was great. Wow, Max was everything. Sorry Grinch, you were good too. <laughs> it's time to head into the show. Look at this, they've got Max's house right outside here. Oh, it's so nice in here. <sighs> and the music's nice. The production value for this show is so amazing and I love just showing off the theater. Look at how amazing this stage is. Isn't it just beautiful? Like I said, the production value for this show is like none other. And this actually all moves. You'll see a lot of it. It's really, it's something else. As an added Christmas gift, this show features classic songs arranged by Chip Davis and Mannheim Steamroller. The holidays are about sharing with others. Ask that you open your heart and enjoy the Grinchmas Hula Day Spectacular. <laughs>
Hank Hager, bitch. The great Hank Hager, the whole thing I see. Now you don't have to lie to me. I'm so sweet. I'll look just like Saint Nick. Ooh, I'm speaking in rhymes. Blast! Oh no. Is that music? Oh, it's a duet! Oh. You're a mean I know! Mr. Drake! Oh. And you better be like that during the finale. <laughs> All their windows were dark. Quiet sleep filled the air. All the Who's were all dreaming <laughs> sweet dreams without care. Merry Christmas! Oh, uh, you have to get that dream. Go back to sleep. Sleep. Okay. Sugar. <laughs> when he came to the first house in the square, this is stop number one. The old Grinchy Claws hissed. Then he climbed to the roof, empty bags in his fist. The roof! <laughs> I can't do it. What's next? Then he slid down the chimney. A rather tight pinch. Uh-uh. Can we skip ahead? But if Santa could do it, oh. then so could the Grinch. Oh, if Santa could do it! Their triglers, their puzzles. He took their pantuflers, their dazzlers, their wuzzles. He cleaned out that icebox as quick as a flash. Why, that Grinch even took their last pan of goo ash. I want it. I got it. <laughs> then he stuffed all the presents up the chimney with glee. And now... Grinch the Grinch. I will stuff up the tree. So the Grinch grabbed a tree and he started to shove when he heard a small sound like the coo of a dove. And he thought it up quick. Oh, I'm my sweet little attack. The fake Santa Claus lied. You're not helping. <laughs> Good night, I'm going to shine. Don't take it back. Ho, ho, ho! Do my work, up, my dear. I'll fix it up there, and then I'll bring it back here. They, they're just waking up, and I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two, and then all the hoos down in Whoville will all cry. Boo! Hoo! <laughs> now, that's a noise. Grin the Grinch. That I simply must yeah. So he paused. Ah. And the Grinch put a hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low. Then it started to grow. But this sound wasn't sad. Why, this sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so. But it was merry. Very. Christmas Day. He hadn't. 
Before. Ben ik dus? Je valt. Dat is een kant op een Ben ik Christus? Verhaal Weet je dit of dit? Oh. And what happens then? Well, in Whoville, they say, the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. Oh. Ah! And now that his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light. He still had their presence, the food for their feast, the ribbons, the tinsel, even the roast beast. You see, I was just <laughs> I took your back to the your tassels and your water. That's a Yeah. Let me do. Merry Christmas, Mr. Grinch. Well, that's not the words. I love you, Max. Welcome Christmas. Bring your cheer. Oh, my Christmas, Christmas. Oh, I knew. I wanted to make all my life oh. to uh, someone down below the stage and it was really cool but I love this show it tears me gets me all teary-eyed and my mom loves it too and her name's Cindy Cindy Lou now it's time we start making our way into Universal Studios and uh, get ready for the holiday parade featuring Macy's I'm so excited and it's still daylight out and the rain seems to uh, been uh, like keeping uh, keeping away so we might have a nice uh, parade People are lining up to get good spots. Honestly, this parade is so good because the balloons are so high and uh, you can see it even when you're like not in the front. You can see it like three or four like steps back. Oh, the music. Wow. Woo! I'm feeling great, guys. And it's not hot out. We got a nice little cold breeze. And have yourself a Merry little Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Wow. We got ourselves a nice spot for the parade and now we're just going to wait around. And then once we get done here, we're going to head over to Hogsmeade in the Islands of Adventure. And we're going to see the uh, Hogwarts projection show. Oh, 15 minutes. The most wonderful time of the year.
boy. <laughs> I know, you got, you got a little scared there. <laughs> Professionals, look at them. I know, I know. I take totally down. Oh. I'm glad those mice over there aren't holding the balloons.
here comes the big guy. parade. That's why I always like watching from the parade from right in this area. The bad part is it's a little difficult to get out of once you get in here. <laughs> All right, now it's time to head on over to Hogsmeade. Wow, that was great. It's the music that gets me, I'm telling you. And then like that tree lighting, that's, that's perfection. Of course, we've got to get ourselves some butterbeer to close out the night and watch the uh, projection show on uh, Hogwarts Castle. Look at that. Man. Nothing quite like coming to Universal during the holidays and hanging out in Hogsmeade. Wow, look at the castle. What a great reveal. Oh, oh I'll take one. Oh, yes, that is the way. Thank you. Ooh. Hop, right? Hot butter beer. Got the show. Oh, no. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Guys, who needs a butterbeer? Oh, could I? Oh,
could have asked for a better way to end the night. I don't think we could have asked for a better way to end the night. A little butterbeer, a little projection show. Man, I really wish they could do fireworks at Universal. I know they probably couldn't because there's so many neighborhoods around the area. But, like, if they could do an actual fireworks show, I think they would do an amazing job at it. But, uh, yeah, anywho, I think it's time to call it a night. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the holiday season here. I love it. And like I said, it's great that it's free to like the whole like if you buy a ticket You get all that included with it. You don't have to buy anything extra Unlike you know like Mickey's very merry Christmas party or Jollywood or even a lot of other the uh, the other uh, Like theme parks they do special ticketed Christmas events, but not Universal. They're still still doing it I like that. So uh, yeah Hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, We'll see you next time Bye! Guess who I got to meet today? I got to meet Max! I did! Let me scratch the top of your head just like that. <laughs>